Most of the people come by here are Philadelphia fans. How you doing there, Maxine? Overall, it's, at times it gets to be kind of sad <laughs> being a Philadelphia fan. We, we've had a lot of disappointments in this city. Telling the truth. Yeah, that's the truth, you know? And in Philadelphia, losing is part of the culture. It's always been part of the culture. You think you fuck! You guys show! People don't understand in other cities. They think they've had a bib. The city hasn't won anything. Philly's woes continue. 100 years before they ever even won a World Series at all. Cubs fans and Red Sox fans get all the glory for their losing teams. Their misery is way overrated. I mean, you can look it up. The losingest team in sports history is the Philadelphia Phillies. In Boston, it's literary. It's the Bambino. It's Fenway. In Chicago, it's the Billy Goat. It's Bartman. Those places have a story. Behind the back, it gets to a butter. Well, you know what? In Philadelphia, we just got misery, OK? It's not wrapped up in a pretty picture. You're not going to make a movie of it. It's just misery. It is definitely a star-crossed franchise, no question about it. Nobody else had 64. One of the greatest collapses in baseball history. The Manny Mota fly ball. And this ball is grabbed by Luzinski. It's a double for Manny Mota. Joe Carter, three-run home run. The winners and still world champions, the Toronto Blue Jays. I think it's important for baseball in Philadelphia to start afresh at the Citizens Bank ballpark, which is going to be glorious. Being from Philadelphia, I'm naturally pessimistic, but this year I'm trying to get rid of that portion and being completely optimistic because this team has everything it takes. But this year especially, because we're bringing big names, we're spending big money, and that has a lot to do with success. With the addition of Billy Wagner and Tim Worrell and Roberto Hernandez, there's an expectation now that we are the team to beat. I think there's no question that the Phillies have thrown the Braves. This is their year. We're way better than this team. Aren't we way better than Atlanta? Tell me he's like he's the god right now. He's going to pull it together for everybody. And we all know Pat Burrell's going to turn it around this year. Tremendous home run, Pat Burrell. That's how we do it, baby. You can't get a Bobby, dude. Quit trying. He's like a Larry Boa. I only have one life to live. Let me live it as Larry Boa. No one wants to win more in this organization or cares more about this Phillies organization than Larry Bowen. Oh, I'm done! No! No! You're going to see a parade down Broad Street this year. Well, I'll put money on that. This town will go crazy when the Phillies win. This city will erupt like a volcano. They have championship passion. They have championship belief for their, for their ball clubs, and they deserve one. to see a good baseball game, they want to have a great cheesesteak, we're a better place to have it, but in Philadelphia. It's really like a TV show, this is going to be really on TV. We don't win this game, our dreams are shattered. That's the team right there, baby. Don't celebrate, this is how we got to play. Leave it, leave it. God. Go out there. Beat Army. It's the purest approach to the game is that you come to the ballpark as a member of the team ready to play. Our beautiful new citizens bank. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to Veterans Stadium and thank you. Because above all the festivities, the response that you have shown proves that Philadelphia has the best fans in the National League. Well, I'm down here because, you know, I went to a lot of Phillies games. It's a good part of the city, the city's history, and uh, I'm just here to say goodbye to the vet. Had a lot of good times here. It's breaking my heart. It's making me cry. When you live in Philly, this is a piece of your heart right here, Veterans Stadium. On a sunny summer afternoon, Philadelphia's gathering place is Veteran Stadium. A day at the vet can provide simply a smile. It was my whole childhood, and it was a horrible stadium, but it, it, when it was new, it was great. To 
dump compared to most of the stadiums. But what's great about it is that it's this place that nobody else wants. When other people don't like something, I think that's when you take more ownership, and that's why people love the Fed. Yes, we can. Well, for me personally, I had a lot of good times there. Uh, I won a World Series there, won division titles there, played with Hall of Famers there. So it was an exciting time for me. The memories are what make any place like that because there's no other place you go in your life where those memories get made. And so that's what the vet was. It certainly wasn't ever going to appear in an architectural digest, but it was going to appear in all of our memories digest. For all the Eagles fans, for all the Phillies fans, and for all the Philadelphians, Veterans Stadium, we love you. You'll live in our hearts forever. Cheers. Citizens Bank Park is going to have a venue like no other place. And it's a beautiful building. And we're going to enjoy it to no end. But for tonight, we say goodbye to Veterans Memorial Stadium. In the news at this hour, the implosion countdown is under half an hour as Veterans Stadium comes tumbling down. The Vets implosion, I think, is a cleansing. The, the place almost has to go. As much as it, it brings a tear to my eye, it has to go. I've been working. Now what? Oh! oh. I think this is where the rebirth of baseball hits Philadelphia. Top of world is still Bobby Bray, he really is. A serious guy. <laughs> yeah. For the longest time, I think the baseball fans here have felt slighted. 95, 96, 98, the Phillies played into the hands of all the baseball haters because they were so bad. And it was like one negative thing after another. They're throwing stuff at Drew out in center. They're going to pull Drew off the field, evidently. If you look at it, there's a lot changing in Philadelphia right now. The vet's going to go down, and a lot of the losing, and the idea of Philadelphia not being a baseball town is gone. It's going down with the vet. Four, three, two, fire, fire. They are now a should-win team. They used to be a could-win team last year. Right now, they're a should-win team. They better win. I, uh, that's the expectation. Out of all the teams in the, in the National League East, they're the only ones that really made market improvement. Not one weakness in this club on paper. And now you look around at the division. Look at the number of people who have exited right on out of the National League East. I think they made the, the single biggest upgrade at any position of any team by getting Billy Wagner to fill in as the closer when the closer situation didn't go very well last year. I tell you what, though, I look like a shortstop more than a catcher. Don't I? Oh! No one can look into the crystal ball and see who's going to be hurt and who's not going to be hurt, but, uh, you know, if we can go injury-free, we should have a lot of fun. Baseball now and spring training is over for the Phillies' Jim Tomey, and that could be a good thing. Tomey broke the middle finger on his right hand in a fungo drill. And Fellas, hey, hey, what's going on? You've been better. Yeah, you're going on. Well, I got hit with a ground ball, and I got a little, uh, little fracture in it. Obviously, the opening day's even more special this year with a new ball. Point. Sure, is that, sure. Is that what you're shooting for, or...? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. You take away my receding hairline, dog. And guess who's got all the commercials? Well, it, it, the fascinating thing to me is how many people are picking the Phillies to win the National League East and be in the playoffs with the presence of the world champions and the Atlanta Braves. The Phillies have made themselves better, but there are a lot of question marks remaining, and I don't know if you can pick them to be a division champion. The only danger with the Phillies is people are going to be expecting them to start off 11-2, and two, and if they start off 4-8, and eight, we're going to hear some boo birds early. Can handle a long hard day but can your deodorant yeah it's arm and hammer ultra max with our clean feel formula for 24-hour protection all day all night guaranteed ultra max deodorant 24 hours of clean today i'm here with mark and jeff what's going on guys we're gonna make her beautiful again bob great you've got the new craftsman aluminum jack to help you got it with a super low design and patented speedy lift, the Craftsman Aluminum Jack makes lifting cars faster and easier than ever. It takes only two pumps of the handle to get the saddle up to the chassis. Lightweight, yet powerful. It's only $119.99.
And you've got the new Craftsman Double Box Ratcheting Wrench Set. Oh, yeah. Its thin design works great in tight areas. And the box end has greater strength than an open end, while the ratcheting action lets you keep on turning without repositioning. Plus, each wrench has two sizes. Perfect for so many applications. It's fast, powerful, and incredibly handy in tight spaces. It's yours for only $39.99. Now, can I take her for a spin? Absolutely, Bob. The right tool for every project. Innovations for the good life. Craftsman at Sears. Good life, great price. Weekends are special. So Enterprise has special weekend rates from $9.99 a day. Rent Friday to Monday from just $9.99 a day. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. I'm Matthew Lesko, and my new book will tell you how to tell bill collectors to go shove it. My new book shows you 4,000 government programs that you can use to pay your bills and get out of debt forever. Get $2,000 to pay your rent or mortgage, or even $7,000 to pay your credit card bill. Isn't it about time you get rid of your debt once and for all? Call now and get free money to pay your bills. Call 1-800-344-8300 now. What's the status? Torn ACL. How about you? Still waiting for the MRI, but it looks like a blown elbow. Tommy John surgery. Not good. I've been putting out surgery for months. Now no shack fell. Hey, Ramirez. How's the hammy? Tight. I'm into the whirlpool. Jimmy. Hi, it's Dan Patrick on ESPN Radio. This week's injury report is out. ESPN Radio. Get your radio on. Hey, how you doing there, brother? Now? How you doing today, man? Have a good one now. Thank you. Happy opening day, everybody. Man, we treat it like a national holiday because the boys of summer are finally back. Who's your favorite team? Billy! Billy. <laughs> opening day is one of those days, no matter how many years you've got in the big leagues, the jitters are still there, and it's just excitement, it's uh, anxiety, whatever you want to call it. it, especially in a Phillies uniform because so much is expected of you. When I was a kid, you know, I was a huge baseball fan, and, and I always look forward to opening day. And being here on the field, it takes me back to those days. By the way, today the opener here at PNC Park. Next Monday, the home opener for the Phils at Citizens Bank Park. Yeah, it's pretty tight. All the guys are working pretty hard and a lot of a lot of overtime and it's pretty tough. You know, I don't think they're going to get it done. I don't think it's going to be ready. I was down there a week ago. It didn't look ready. The construction, as with any major project, will continue probably into the early part of the season and they won't really notice what's not finished if there isn't things finished. They're doing it as best as they can to get it finished for the Phillies. You know, for the uh, opening game. You can smell an air of success when you walk into the Philadelphia Phillies clubhouse. We're way better than this team. Aren't we way better than Atlanta? But Atlanta's got that swag. Regardless of what they, you know, how they start, they know deep down inside they know they're going to finish. At the end, they're going to finish. Kevin Millwood pitching for the Philadelphia Phillies this afternoon. Second straight year, he's made the opening day start for the Phillies. The only thing I see on this team is that they like it, a little swagger. 3 2 pitch. Hammered. Center field, flying deep, and she's gone. Greg Wilson with a home run. He takes Millwood out of the park. I think it's better for your mind and, and stability as a team to really get off on a good start. And a sellout crowd enjoys an outstanding ball game as the Bucks beat the Phillies two to one. They had two, we had one. And then both pitches throwing hard. Oh man, that was a long day. You know, of course, you know, you used to open a day, knock that out the way. Now let's see what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody gonna be seeing the ball like a balloon tonight. That one is hit hard to right field. It's going to be in for a base hit. Rollins crosses the plate, and Tomey into second base for the double. It's you against the ball. Yeah, because well, when, when he releases it, he ain't got no more control. It ain't over. him. Yeah. And the quieter, the better. And the pitch to him. Swings hard and hits it through the hole on the right side. And the Phils now with a 5-4 lead. If it's quiet, you can adapt to it. Right. Bottom of the ninth inning. It's Billy Wagner time here in Pittsburgh. 0-2 pitch. Call third strike. He struck him out. Billy Wagner strikes out three batters. And the Phillies win the game. Billy Wagner with his first save as a Philly. They turn out to be a 
nice day today. It's gonna be hot tonight, though. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Pro Player Stadium here in South Florida. As the Phillies get set to take on the world champions for the first time this year. They starting already? The team that had the Phillies number in a big way last year, winning 13 of the 19 games. This is what we play for, all right? Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Wear it, baby. Wear it, wear it. I will. What a feeling. Getting your second ring? Second ring, brother. Second ring. It pissed me off watching the other team, though, to know how close we were. You know what I mean? It was their year. That's what it's all about. That's why we play. We're going to get there. Ours next year, Poppy. We'll be doing the same thing. So the Marlins have once again swept the Phillies here at Pro Players Stadium. Bills end up falling to 1-5 and five on the season as they head back home now to Philadelphia. It began as a dream more than a decade ago. And now, the dream is here. There was always that sort of undercurrent that I think you hear in every construction project that it's not going to be ready on time. We have clouds, we have rain. No one really seems to mind as the Phillies get ready to open up Citizens Bank Park officially today against the Cincinnati Reds. Programs! Opening day programs! Phillies offense has been struggling in the first six games. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. But the starting pitching has really been very good. It's very difficult to pitch every day knowing that you don't have any runs up there and you can't make a mistake. The next offering to Griffey. Line drive toward left field. Every move you make is magnified because you don't score runs. Cincinnati on top, 4-1. to one. And Randy Wolf has yet to get a batter out here in the fifth inning. Larry talked about the pressure of not putting up a lot of runs on you when you know every pitch is going to be under the microscope. And a swing and a ground ball to the right side. There's Jimenez, goes down, gets up on a knee throw, and this one belongs to the Reds. We're seven games in. Yeah, we're one and six. But I think for the most part, things are heading in the right direction. You know, we haven't gotten the timely hits that we need, but guys are, guys are swinging the bats good. That's what's frustrating is that Bobby Abreu is hitting 083 in the first six games. He's 0 for 8 with runners in scoring position. I think there's a lot of high expectations, and, you know, we have them. I just think everybody's a little disappointed. We need to, uh, to obviously pick things up and get a W and then go from there. Bottom half of the ninth inning of a 4-4 game. And Doug Glanville will lead off against the new Montreal pitcher, their closer, Rocky Biddle. Here's Rocky's 3-1. Pretty well hit the left field. It's got a chance. It is out of here. Doug Glanville has won the game. And the Phillies sweep the series for Montreal. A dramatic ninth inning bolt. And the joint is rocking again. Four straight for the Phillies. They win it by a final of five to four. You know, I don't think I've ever had a walk-off home run. <sighs> big. I mean, it's big. We needed to get that momentum, try to get a little swagger going, feeling good about ourselves. Nothing like wins give you that feeling. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Citizens Bank Park. Another nice night for baseball tonight as the Phillies try once again against the Florida Marlins. Come on, you're all right. Come on, Ray. Every team has its demons. The Phillies, the, the demons are the Marlins. A big two-out hit for Pierre, and the Marlins now lead it by a score of 2 nothing. The Phillies have got to be able to beat teams like that if they want to go anyplace. Come on, Bobby! Marlins one out away from beating the Phillies again. No! And the Marlins' dominance over the Phillies continues here in the first game of this series. They made a pitch, we didn't. They got a big hit, and we didn't. And every game was one or two runs. Come on, let's go! Let's put some runs up! That was a good fit for the city. The city's just blue collar, very wound up, and he doesn't take anything from anyone. Hey! There's no f***ing ground rule! There's no ground rule but stick there. There's no ground rule. There's no ground rule. People connect with Larry Bowen. He has a credibility in this town. We discussed that. That's no thing. Right. Playing against him, you looked at that and you're like, man, that's kind of ridiculous. But playing for him, you kind of look at it and say, you know, he just wants to win. Wagner's up, right? Ninth inning, enter Sandman. Billy Wagner on, facing Mike Lowell, who has homered twice tonight. Here's the pitch to Mike. A swing and a drive to left field. It is up, up, and away. A home run for Mike Lowell off Billy Wagner to tie this game in the ninth inning at seven. Unbelievable. I I'm looking back at all the moves tonight. I can't do anything different. 
It's frustrating, but you know it's a long season, and I think that, uh, you know, it's a matter of, okay, they got us early. They have won nine straight times against the Phillies. But there's other teams in the league in 162 games, and I think our strength is our pitching. What a great effort of a combined shutout from Randy Wolf and Ray Cormier. And the first month of the season, uh, even going 10 and 11, that definitely was our strength. Put this one in the win column for the Fighting Phils. They are over 500, just two games back of Florida. All of a sudden, everything is great in Philadelphia. walkie-talkie for instant connections, GPS capability for voice-guided directions, and wireless web services for info on the go. Now starting at just $24.99. Call 8888-NEXTEL to shop or find a store. Act now. Get the I-205 for only $24.99. Call 8888-NEXTEL now. Here's to the beginning. A chance to carve out a new path. For this time, we'll be different. This is the year we leave our mark. This is the game we play together. This is our season. The colors change, the fires burn, and the possibilities are endless. The NCAA Championships on ESPN. Why did I switch to digital phone? The price. You can't beat the price. It's the same every month. Price and simplicity. We have unlimited calling. Talk whenever you want. I have family all over the state. I can talk to the grandkids and not worry about the time. And no surprises, it's the same every month. I can keep my same phone number. It's got the calling features I want. I talk a lot. <laughs> this really works out well for me. Digital phone, it's a no-brainer. Ooh, what happened? Well, it looks like a strip of metal punctured a tire in the landing gear, which ultimately caused the left wing to erupt into a massive fireball. Oh, man. Experience unforgettable stories about the world's most compelling catastrophes on Seconds from Disaster, Tuesdays at 10 on the National Geographic Channel. Available on Channel 68. playing half the time and just strumming on it. Consistent mechanics for Brett Myers, three starts in a row. Good pitch there by Brett Myers, like a splitter. Great job by Myers. Brett Myers, a brilliant five-hit shutout. Out of the Phillies, sweep the Dodgers. They could see history tonight as Jim Tomey sitting on home run number 399 in his big league career. Jim Tomey, first chance at Citizens Bank Park for number 400. There's Andrea Turner, Tomey, Jim's lovely bride. It's clear that Jim Tomey is a Philadelphia kind of guy. This town has been in love with him since he got here. When you're watching him, he's one of us. Sitting on 399 as he steps in here with two out in the first inning. Could it be? Could it be? It is out of here! Number 400 for Jim Toby. Here comes all the teammates coming out to home plate. Jim is awesome. The best thing about Jim Tomei is that he's a better person than me as a player. There is no more popular player in Philly's history with his teammates than that big guy. Number 400. Wow. Take a bow, big man. You know, when he hit his 400th, I think everybody in the clubhouse was more worried about us getting the game in so it counted <laughs> than anything else. We didn't know if if the home run was gonna count or whatever. And then during the rain delay, you know, my wife, her family, 
You know, my daughter got to come down, you know, between the rain delay. And... and then obviously afterwards when your teammates, you know, they poured champagne and, you know, that's really what it's all about is when your teammates acknowledge something like that, it makes you feel very special. I was going to give a speech, but we love you. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> These guys, they're all good people. They're fun to be around. Hey. Fellas, thank you. I appreciate oh, no. it. Very much. <laughs> yeah. Very much. Yeah. 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 Uh, we are in nostalgic Boston Spenway Park here. As you can see, the green monster behind me here. Last night, the Phillies lost at Fenway Park, but today there's good news here at the old ball yard. Randy Wolf returns from the disabled list to take on the Boston Red Sox. You're kind of nervous. You feel like it's your first start of the year. Just activated today from the disabled list. He's expected to go somewhere between 70 and 80 pitches in this ball game today. 2-2 two, two off speed pitch. Got him. I felt good that I was you know, able to get back out there and, and be competing again. It was disappointing because we're up like 7-1, to and I was on a pitch count, so, you know, you can't get the win if you go four innings. The Phillies have even the series. They defeat the Red Sox today by the score of 9-2. to two. And Pearl, the batteries hitting at 272. He has good career numbers against Chile. He's 4 for 12, including a triple and a home run. Long drive into deep left. This ball is out of here. Phillies fan makes a great catch. Came right over there. My friends missed it. Right into my hands. Beautiful bare-handed catch, if I do say so myself. Things started out great for the Phillies. They were up 3-0 in the third, but the Red Sox scored 12 unanswered runs and win the game 12-3, taking this series two games to one. We take a step forward, a step back, and we're kind of, you know, in limbo. But um, fortunately, nobody else in the division seems to be uh, doing anything else uh, but the same thing we're doing. On this island, no one is who they seem. Don't trust her. She's got that gun. What did you do? See why Lost is being called the best new drama on TV. And all new Lost, Wednesday, 8, 7 central, only on ABC. Who do you love? Giant! Steelers! Steelers! This season, Sports Illustrated wants to help you cheer on your favorite team. And when you do, you'll get a special deal from SI. Start off with an incredible NFL folding chair with the logo of your favorite team, and you'll get this lightweight carrying case, too. Pick a team, any team. Chargers! 49! Go Pack Go! The choice is yours. It's free when you order 56 issues of SI at $1.59 an issue. You'll save 60% off the cover price. If you call now and pay with your credit card, you'll get another great gift free. Wear your favorite team's colors with pride with this NFL hooded sweatshirt. For free? Follow your team and the entire NFL through the pages of SI. SI gives you more in 2004. More access, more passion, more insight, more personality. Call now, 1-800-257-7900. That's 1-800-257-7900. Or go online at SINFL2004.com. Quantities are limited. Discover the amazing hitting secrets of America's finest baseball school in Teaching the Mechanics of the Major League Swing 2. Tommy Mansky's powerful teaching video that features the same revolutionary techniques that have produced baseball world's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back AAU National Championship teams. Parents, players, and coaches have been simply amazed at their students' rapid week-by-week -week improvement. These award-winning techniques benefit players of all ages and ability levels and make a valuable addition to any coach's library and a great gift. At just $29.95, call now. I just want to be remembered as somebody that went out and played hard and did their job and was uh, good for the game. At the wall. The competition, putting your body on the line, the roar of the crowd, all those things make you want to go out there and do the best you can. Single, double, triple. Deep to right field. I live for this. October, eight teams, one champion. Watch the World Series. Don't miss it. Some interesting news today, and it concerns the number of Phillies named to the National League All-Star team. One, Jim Tomey. My daughter is flipping out. We'll do one here, guys. Oh, thank you 
so much. Yeah. Oh, you are the best, Jim. The final spot on the team, though, still could go to Bobby Abreu, only if he wins an online election at MLB.com. Bobby, a National League All-Star. Boy, that sounds good. He's had a tremendous season, deserved to go, and was voted in by the fans on the Internet. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Hey, you ready for the 2004 Major League Baseball All-Star Game? Remember, this one counts. The guys on the field right now that are going to be at that All-Star Game as we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. And one of those All-Stars, Bobby Abreu, will lead off against John Franco in a game tied at four. Bills went at 5 4. Stay tuned. Post game show follows next. Guess who the star of the game is going to be? Sometimes I'll give them a warning if it's more of a veteran guy, and I'll say this is a pie situation just so they have a heads up. That's for Bobby. All right? And I never get it. I try to be there for a towel at least, so to ease my guilt. <laughs> He repeat that pace again, you know, I just, uh... <laughs> Tomas Perez has struck again. What he brings to the clubhouse means a lot, as much as what he brings to the field. I mean, he just uh, keeps everybody happy, everybody loose, you know, always joking around. I mean, he's a really good player. I mean, look at his number. I mean, people look at his average, but I mean, he brings some key hits to the team, too, you know, like uh, pinch hit. Tomas Perez will bat for Billy Wagner now with one down, two men out in a 6-6 game of the 10th. Wagner, that's a fair ball. Tomas delivers again, and the Phillies win. Game-winning hit in the bottom of the 10th inning, and the Phillies have won this ball game by a final score of 7-6. What a comeback here tonight at Citizens Bank Park. They are now three games ahead of the Atlanta Braves in the National League East. I was surprised you didn't get a shaving cream in the face just now. It's coming right now. <laughs> Congratulations, Tomas. Came back is very, very dangerous. So I think you got the message now. We added a few extra ingredients in there baby powder, and uh, a couple other secrets. So uh, hopefully he'll taste it like I did for 48 hours. We'll come get him tomorrow. Thank you. It's all good. Thank you very much. Heading into the second half of the season, which is clearly the most anticipated <laughs> baseball season in many, many, many years. Ouch, that hurt. With old-fashioned soldering irons, you're stuck to the wall. Plus, they can burn through anything. There's got to be a better way. Introducing Cold Heat, the world's first cordless cool-touch soldering tool. Watch, it's cold at first, but apply solder to the tip, and in seconds, it's hot enough to solder anything. When you're done, it cools down in seconds. Amazing! Forget tangled cords. Cold Heat is lightweight and portable, uses four AA batteries, and is ideal for family projects. It's so advanced it won the prestigious Red Dot Award for new tool design. Watch again. Go from soldering back to cool to touch in seconds. Now quickly mend precious jewelry, saving money. Easily repair solar lights outside for beautiful landscaping. Or fix a broken switch on your guitar with precision and speed. The breakthrough is patented technology. After the unique tip touches metal, it rapidly heats up to 800 degrees. Then cools off in seconds, so you can place it in your pocket. Now that's smart. Cold Heat is perfect for hobbies, RC cars, and arts and crafts. Cold Heat's easy and convenient. I use it for quick repairs around my house without worrying about getting burned. Call now and order your cordless Cold Heat soldering tool for just $19.95. 
will also include this durable carrying case. It's perfect for the toolbox or the utility drawer. Free. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll include this easy stripping tool. Yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. Quickly cut and strip cables with no fraying. Strip multiple wires at the same time. Or strip and solder cables lightning fast in just one pass. It's made for a lifetime of use because it's powered by cold heat. If you're not completely satisfied, return it for a full refund of the purchase price. But keep the stripping tool as our gift. This incredible value is all yours for only $19.95. So call now. Call 1-800-594-0866 and order your cordless cold heat soldering tool. Now go from soldering back to cool to touch in seconds. This incredible offer won't last. So call 1-800-594-0866. Last time on Dream Job. Welcome to Sports Center. I am Whitney Scott. Ah, the power of keys. You guys were the best thus far. It was <laughs> sensational to me. Have fun. This is Sports Center. Scared the living hell out of me. If you don't get better now, you'll be home soon. First to go was Casey, then Valerie. This week, eight will be back, one will be cut, and your vote counts. Believe it! Who will win the desk job of a lifetime? Dream Job. Live at a new time. Midnight Eastern, 9 Pacific. Tuesday on ESPN. Baseball fans around the world, we welcome you to Houston for this All-Star game. I gotta get out here and work, guys. Hey, Tommy! Long this ball that way. You and me. Not center? No, straight. Okay. A guy like Bonds, a guy like Sosa, they're the best power hitters in the game. You know, and to be in that group, you know, that's what it's all about. I can button beat you. I can button. <laughs> You got to have fun. That's why you play. That's that's what it's, you know, you live for. Yeah, no, don't hit me. Keep it fair. It's almost like a fraternity group. You don't ever leave. I'm supposed to lose to you. Yeah, I am. No, you're better. You're a monster. Look at, look at the stud right there. Look at him. Two studs. Look at him. I hit like this today. Almost. Go deep. They always go deep against us. I never. Every time. Every time. We can't control them. The Phillies are about to embark on their most important stretch of the season. A 14-day, 13-game road trip. It begins right here in Florida against a team that has been their Achilles heel for the past two seasons. The Phillies are 52 and 46. They are 1 and 7 against the Marlins. We know man for man where it's just as good or maybe better than Florida. But they have that swagger, that confidence that no matter how bad it looks out there for them, they know that they can come back and beat us. And the Marlins have beaten the Philadelphia Phillies. It has been a complete domination by the Marlins the last two years. Once again, they have beaten the Philadelphia Phillies. And that is 12 of the last 13 and 21 of the last 24. I'd say that was probably our lowest part of the season right there, going to Florida. And they basically had their way with us. Pours out here in South Florida. Larry Bowe will be asked about another loss to the Marlins. Are you uh, anxious to get out of Florida and get away from this ballpark? And... <laughs> yeah, we haven't had too much luck down here. A four-game series sweep here in South Florida. They thought that this is the year that they were going to finally pass up the Braves and, you know, then they were going to beat up on the Marlins. And after being swept in Florida, I think that really kind of disheartened them a little bit. <laughs> I got Wrigley Field in Chicago. Game one of a weekend series, the Phillies and the Chicago Cubs. The Phillies have been a disappointing club, and right now the Phillies season is hanging on the edge. The question everybody asking, if this team doesn't turn it around, how about the future of Larry Boa? That's been speculated on in the Philly media. Do you worry at all about any of the reports coming out in the media about uh, job security or anything like that? 
it's funny, a lot of the reporters and a lot of the media are, they create these rumors about Boa getting fired. And then they want to have you comment about the rumors they started. Philadelphia is noted for that. When you play here or manage here or coach here a long time, you understand how they like to sensationalize things. I think it's the way it's always going to be. I, I don't think they've been fair to the Phillies. We want the Phillies to win. The fans want them to win. They struggle, but I think it's more because of things out of their control. The team not trying to win. A little flare, shallow right. Can Polanco catch that one? No, he can't. It skips past Abreu. It just seems like to me that maybe Larry's put a little too much stress in the clubhouse on the players. And I think that is showing itself on the field. Nice play by her hand is, and he's got Barrett hung up. Oh, but then he throws it away. Phillies self-destructing in this inning. You don't want to blame Bo, but you got to blame Bo. He's a manager. You know, they got to win. And uh, I'm really disappointed they're not winning this year. Chicago comes from behind and beats the Phillies this afternoon. And the Phillies have now lost the first five games of this long road trip. What do you think they're going to do trade deadline wise? I'm a, an eternal pessimist about these things anyway. People want to make a move, they want to see a move made. And, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. They did get Felix Rodriguez and Todd Jones, and I know a lot of people don't think that was enough, and they probably needed to get another starting pitcher and a, and a center fielder, which they wanted to do it. Probably the most important year in the franchise in 20 years, and whatever trades they had to make going to the deadline, they had to do. Um, I don't think they did enough. We have three or four what we call blue-chip players. To a team, everybody wanted one of those three guys. And to be honest with you, as much as I like to win, as much as I like to compete, I don't think I'm giving up any of those three players. I knew this was going to happen. I just knew that whether it was true or not, the Phils would have ample cover. If they don't get anybody, they can just turn around and say, my God, you know who they wanted for that kid? Obviously, our ultimate goal is to please our fans by winning a World Series. But the other side of that reality is that we've got to balance that over what we think is right for the long-term health of the franchise. And not to mention the fact that in some of the instances, some of the deals that fans think you should be making out there, the players either didn't move at all or they moved to a place of their choosing. I really do think Ed tried to be more creative than he's ever been, but it didn't happen. And just the reaction in this town tells you People expected them to do more, and they're not going to forget the fact that they didn't do more. I knew he wasn't going to make the trade. Not a big trade. You don't have the guts to make a big trade. When fans are frustrated, I guess the one thing that they need to understand, there's nobody more frustrated than I am. Phillies down to their last strike. He got it! And the Cubs beat the Phillies 6-3 to three to take 2-3 of three this weekend. I mean, they're in a tough spot now because just the sheer mathematics of where they are and how many games are left, they're still good enough to win, they're good enough to go on that run, but time is running out. Wouldn't it be great if you could pay off all those high interest credit cards and get extra cash for you? Request now. We help homeowners do just that by refinancing their mortgage. You'll get your own personal loan specialist who knows you're more than your credit score. Call 1 800 AmeriQuest now or go to AmeriQuest.com. AmeriQuest, the company that knows you are more. On the next, I'd do anything. It's a dangerous race to the end zone. <laughs> That is a sick joke. Bring on the bees. Oh, my God. Bugger just got me to nap. And soccer goals from 5,000 feet. That was the scariest feeling I ever had. I was scared like a schoolgirl. I'd do anything tomorrow at 10 p.m. on ESPN. Risking it all for someone you love. I'm Ronnie Deutsch. I have settled IRS tax bills for only $20. $20. Ronnie was able to help us settle this debt for only $20. Saved me $34,000. Saved me $10,000. When she says that she can settle this for pennies on the dollar, she absolutely means it. You deserve a fresh start. Let me help you settle your IRS tax bill. Call the law offices of Ronnie Deutsch for a free and confidential tax analysis. Call 1-800-850-3900. That's 1-800-850-3900. Ooh, what happened? 
Well, it looks like a strip of metal punctured a tire in the landing gear, which ultimately caused the left wing to erupt into a massive fireball. Oh, man. Experience unforgettable stories about the world's most compelling catastrophes on Seconds from Disaster. Tuesdays at 10 on the National Geographic Channel. Available on Channel 68. Petco Park in San Diego on a beautiful evening for baseball game one of this three game series. Bill's trying to get their road trip turned around here one and six on this road trip. Things were tough but you know what everybody was happy to get to the west coast. A lot of people on the team are from California so you know I, I think that just changed everything around just being in an environment that people are, are more familiar with and San Forget is going to go out here and play. Having fun, we were winning some games, and we just needed to continue to try to do that. Struck him out to end the ball game. The Phillies make it two in a row over San Diego. Honestly, felt that things were turning around, and it was, you know, everything pointing that things are turning around. Trevor trying to get out of a spot here, checks things out, and the pitch on the way. Long drive into right center, and drops for a hit. Two runs are going to score, and the Phillies take a five to three lead. And all of a sudden, this road trip has some light to it. To be dealing with everything that we were dealing with as a club at that point, and to go out there and play as well as we did, I think that spoke volumes of the character of our players. Good job. Good job. Way to go, guys. Nice job. That way, Jones. Good job. So the Phils have righted the ship for the time being. They complete the sweep of the Padres. Now they look to continue their good fortune against the Western Division leading Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers five. Phillies five. Here comes Gagne. We just lost a five-run lead. They've tied it in the ninth. Gagne's warming up in the pen. What are the odds? Ball, ball up the fence. It's a big hit to center field. Perez scores. Robin scores. The Phillies take a seven to five lead. The Phillies score four off Gagne. And I don't think there's any prettier sight than watching Eric Gagne walk off the mound in Dodger Stadium, a loser for the first time in two years. Hey, way to go, way to go. We beat two of the best closers in baseball on back-to-back -back nights, Hoffman in San Diego and Gagne here in Los Angeles. And the Phillies beat the Dodgers and take the series two games to one. The Phillies went up and complete a miraculous 6-7 and seven trip. After the way it started, it was great. Two weeks. Two weeks. Four different continents. The mood of the clubhouse in Chicago when they were one and six on that trip, and then when they turned around and went five and one, it was kind of night and day. There's the smile right there. See you, LA. Hope to see you in October. It was so exciting because they turned this disastrous uh, trip into not bad. It looked like the season was over, and then they gave us hope again. You know, you're looking for a team with this much ability to go on a seven, eight, nine, ten game winning streak. I can sit this back part for a nice long home stand. The Phillies optimistic after that West Coast swing. You know, we're going home for a long home stand against teams that are, for the most part, under 500. Maybe we're back in it. But sad news on Pat Burrow. When are you going to have the operation? Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Friday the 13th. <laughs> Pat Burrell is lost for the remainder of the year. Pat hadn't really hit very well the last two months, but to lose that type of power, they really don't have anybody that can replace that power in the lineup. Talking about the injuries, and not that everybody's not important, but you're talking about your starting left fielder, one of your starting pitchers. From the time I got injured, I guess, it'd be three to four weeks before I can even pick up a ball. And then it'd be another probably three to four weeks after that. I think they need another dominant pitcher in my eyes. Kind of missing Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling, come back and play with us. They haven't won in 20 years, so we deserve that. We're entitled to that. We're entitled to get somebody great. Vice President General Manager Ed Wade has joined us, and Ed, you got the Phils a new pitcher today. Tell us about that transaction. Well, we were able to pick up Corey Lytle from the Cincinnati Reds today. Lytle obviously will go into the Millwood spot in the rotation. Poor Corey Lytle. Was it his fault that he wasn't a Cy Young Award winner? That's who they got. That's hammered to deep left field. That's going to be way out of here. Long home run, Royce. 
slate. Another one for J.T. Snow. Out of here. Three home runs in the game for Snow. I think he likes hitting in this park. Really. Right now, we're just going to try to get on track here and win a game. you got to try to stop the bleeding as quick as you can. Welcome to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Tonight, the Phil's opening up a three-game series with the Houston Astros. Trying to turn around what has been a rough homestand so far, losing six out of seven. Where did the momentum go? When I was watching the sports this morning, I was beside myself when I realized that they were tied with the Pirates in the wild card race. I'm like, wow! Where did that come from? This is a confident group of guys, and uh, I know one thing, we'll never give up. They gave up. We still have a long way to go. We still have a great chance. There's absolutely no chance. This season's done. People are just frustrated right now, and they're kind of searching for answers why. They see a whole bunch of things that are wrong right now, and they're looking at the trade deadline. They're looking at the manager. Unbelievable, man. Well, here at Citizens Bank Park, a very rough homestand continues along those lines as the Houston Astros bunch all of their runs in one inning tonight. So the Phils are shut off by the Houston Astros 5-0. The fans let them hear about it. Nine days ago, off a 5-1 and one road trip, it was announced that slugger Pat Burrell would have season-ending surgery. Philly faithful must have thought, what else can go wrong? That was the same day they opened a 10-game homestand. Since then, they've lost eight of the first nine without Larry Boa losing his job. Yesterday, all GM Ed Wade would say about Boa was, he's the manager. <laughs> Everybody here wants to win, and, and you've been with the Phillies a while. You haven't won. An end of this homestand, which has been a most disheartening homestand. It was Murphy's Law those 10 days. Just whatever could happen, happened. And a ground ball to third. Steps on third, second, back to first. It's a triple play. Unbelievable. We expect the division championship. We don't have it. We're, uh, I think, nine and a half out. We're five out of the wild card. Um, we got a 7-3 lead. Now it's 7-7. Oh, crushes this ball. Good man. And the Astros, now with 10 unanswered runs, have a 12 7 lead here in the eighth. And the Phils finish a 10 game home stand, 1 and 9, losing seven straight. Phils and their fans stunned by what has happened during this home stand. It wasn't that we played bad, it just they played better, and it's what cost us the season. Until that homestand started, they still had a chance. And by the time it was over, they had no chance. You can handle a long, hard day, but can your deodorant? Yeah, it's Arm & Hammer Ultramax with our clean feel formula for 24-hour protection. All day, all night, guaranteed. Ultramax deodorant, 24 hours of clean. Well, Jake, how bad is it? Things have taken on a life of their own in there, Bob. I've got just a thing to get you organized. Craftsman, the number one brand in tool storage, now brings you smart solutions to transform cluttered spaces. The Craftsman Garage Storage System from Sears. All steel cabinets, lockers, back walls, and workbenches. Let's start with a storage locker. It can hold over 400 pounds of your gear. Check out this heavy-duty workbench. The back wall attaches right to the bench, not to the wall. That's easy. And Jake, you'll hang more than tools here, like an extra storage unit or two. Versatile, sturdy, space-saving, at a great price. Individual units from $159.99 to $359.99. Call today for more information. I didn't know my garage could look this good. Craftsman did. <laughs> the right tool for every project. Innovations for the good life. Craftsman at Sears. Good life, great price. Closed captioning for selected programming presented by 310 Motoring. 310, get the elite custom inspired collection of footwear and apparel at specialty retailers. The legendary 310 Motoring, a symbol of luxury. Check it out at 310.com. My technique when I get in the batter's box is to dig in, pull the pant legs up, I try to point the bat to center field, knock the dirt off, and try to look real mean. 
What do you think of that? Major League Baseball Charities is a proud partner of Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Now I want to teach you about pine tar. Through programs like RBI and Rookie League, they bring <laughs> baseball and softball to kids around the world. Don't be afraid of the ball. Together, they create a positive place for kids. Last time on Dream Job. You scared the living hell out of me. If you don't get better now, you'll be home soon. First to go is Casey, then Valerie. This week, one will be cut, and your vote counts. Dream Job at a new time. Midnight Eastern, 9 Pacific, Tuesday on ESPN. Phil's finish a 10-game home stand, 1-9, and nine, losing 7 straight. And when you go through a losing streak or a bad streak, you can't really pinpoint, you know, why this is happening or why, why you go one and nine. Coming off a one and nine home stand, the Phillies come here to Milwaukee and they sweep the Brewers. I've been frustrated because we've gone and, and, and swept team and turned around and, and got swept by another team. The Atlanta Braves putting the finishing touches on a quick two-game sweep. These guys are trying, they're just coming up short, but somewhere, somehow, they've got to turn it around. Tome got all of that one. There's the 40 home run season for Jim Tome. The Phillies have come in here and done a job. They won three out of four from the Braves. I had said something to the guys about two and a half weeks ago. I say, what, if we win five games in a row, I'll let, them, I'll let you guys shave my head off. And then we finally got to that five. Five hours and 15 minutes later, we have a resolution. And then they could hardly wait till we came off the field. Hey, we're going to get you nice high and tight. High and tight. Look, we'll get rid of the gray. All of it. Go. In the clubhouse, they were all waiting there with a clipper, so it wasn't a matter of me trying to get out of it. There was no way I could have got out of it. What a two of them. Deep to left field. It's got a chance, and it's gone. A home run for Jason Michael. Oh, 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 if you look at the Philadelphia Phillies now with the bald-headed Larry Boa, this club has now played themselves back into contention. And the Phillies have swept the Mets. They just might be in this wild card race after all. If you put it together enough wins, you can find yourself sneaking up and being in a chase for October. Bobby Abreu makes a sliding catch. The you know, Philadelphia Phillies have made a remarkable run as of late, but they got to leapfrog five teams. The only question is now, is it too late? They put themselves in such a hole where even after they won six straight, they were still four and a half back with five teams in front of them. And I think they kind of knew that they still needed almost a miracle to, to really pull this out and really really get back into serious contention in the race. The Reds have made it back-to-back -back wins over the Phillies. Well, it's tough because this has been a frustrating year for all of us. A lot of weird things have happened this year. It's, it seems like we've had everybody that was supposed to contribute this year got hurt. Vicente Padilla ending up on the disabled list. Randy Wolf has also been injured. They have their share of injuries. We've lost three starters that have lost over 40 starts. Our closer, Wagner, was out 75, 80 games. When you lose pitching, it's going to come back and and hurt you. You know, we had some certainly tough times there, but we still believed in our depth and just didn't come out the way we would like. Michael bobbled it and then kicked it up into the stands for a home run. What can go wrong does go wrong. It's a club that seemingly has been racked with dissension all year long. The speculation about whether or not Larry Bowl will be back as manager of the Phillies. If this season didn't have a happy ending for the Phillies, it was not going to have a happy ending for Larry Boa. It's a difficult decision for me to make, but I feel that uh, for, uh, for the good of the organization going forward, uh, that we just need a different voice at this point in time. His message, where he's you know, really hard-nosed and driven with the players, I don't think that really helped to pull the clubhouse together. Some people just didn't take advantage of it. Some people never really gave him a chance to really show his personality. I just want to thank him for everything he did for me. I thought that Bo would give me a chance to become a better player, and he's done that. Are you all right? Well, yeah. It's really not his fault. I think basically he was a sacrificial lamb. The disappointment of this season doesn't rest with one person. We all take a measure of responsibility for this. A lot of guys in this clubhouse, you know, need to look at themselves and say, you know, we didn't, we didn't cut it. 
the expectations were really high going into the season, and it's it's been disappointing. The fans were ready for it. They were excited about it. I think everybody in the front office was really excited about it. The expectations with the new stadium, the team we had, I just thought the whole season was going to go a different direction. Our fans won a championship badly. They felt coming into the season that this was going to be a great opportunity for us to finally get to the finish line. It can be frustrating at times. It seems like we're always coming up a little bit short, but you know, it'll make it that much sweeter when we get it.